So welcome again to this particular session after having completed the basics and after having a very detailed discussion which I hope you would agree uh, with respect to data system now we are in a position to have a crack at the questions. So pull out your notes which have been supplied to you and pull out section 1 this is 1.1 this is the first question which we are picking up correct but make a habit of writing each and everything even though questions have been given in a solved manner I would love you to uh, what we could note down each and every words so here we go and we start this particular question this is data system first we are analyzing correct Mr. 007 of city X has a branch at city Y goods are supplied to the branch at cost and the expenses of the branch are paid from head office and the branch keeps a sales journal and a data's ledger only from the following information supplied by the branch prepare branch account and branch data's account so very clearly in this question prepare branch account and data's account very clearly it is given that we have to adopt data system to solve this particular question now what is the information which is given to us the opening stock that is on 1st of April 2021 of course 24 and closing stock is given to you besides that credit sales is given to you I have already told you that credit sale is a transaction which has taken place between the branch and branch traders it will not come in the branch account only in traders account cash sales of course it will be written towards the credit side of branch account then receipts from data is 37,900 receipt from data is 37,900 now this particular transaction here branch has collected the cash and ultimately it will be sent back to head office that is the reason actually it will come in the what we call data's account and also in the branch account Sunday data's closing balance is given to you as 9160 and besides that we have been given this is good sent from head office 30,000 besides that we have been given goods in transit from head office on 31st of March 2022 this is the point before I attempt the question let me explain this is the rough sheet what is what we mean by goods in transit see here in this question goods sent from head office is uh, 30,000 oh here is starting from 1 for 1 for 2021 and ending on 31st of 3 2022 correct head office has supplied goods sent to branch worth rupees 30,000 and you have been given goods in transit goods in transit worth rupees 3,600 and it is given goods in transit as at 31st of 3, 2022 it means out of 30,000 3,600 worth of goods haven't reached the branch by this particular date these goods are still in the journey in transit means in the journey so that is the reason actually because we have sent the goods we will put it towards the debit side of the branch account 30,000 but because out of these goods 3,600 worth of goods haven't been received by the branch and our main target is to show through branch account how much worth of goods branch has received our main target actually is to reflect how much worth of goods branch has received and we know that out of 30,000 3,600 worth of goods haven't been received by the branch by the end of the year it means our branch has received only this much of goods out of 30,000 we had sent 30,000 worth of goods but branch actually has received 26,400 worth of goods because 3,600 worth of goods are still in the journey so in order to reflect 26,400 what we will do we will write goods sent to branch account 30,000 towards the debit side and we will write goods in transit to the credit side are you getting my point or not why we are going to write it towards the credit side because the difference will be equal to 26,400 and this difference reflects goods received by the branch that is the basic task that is the basic motive this figure we want to actually show so in order to make this figure get reflected in the branch account we have to write goods sent to the debit side and goods in transit if ever given in the question that will be put towards the credit side of the branch account this is the only thing which I wanted to tell you in this particular question 
and expenses paid by head office for the branch 10,400. Whenever this line will be given, expenses paid by head office for branch, you will presume or you will construe this particular line this way. It is given expenses paid by head office. You will have to presume it this way that head office has sent the cash to the branch and branch has paid for the expenses. Even though it is written like this, you will have to construe it this way. Is it clear? So this is how the question is. And now we are in a position to solve this question. So I will keep these sheets here and I will put the question sheet towards my left hand side. Correct. So question number 1.1 we are picking up now. Question number 1.1. This is question number 1.1. 1.1 means section 1, question number 1. In order to do this question, first let me actually pick up the scale and then let me draw branch account. Correct? This is branch account. I think this much is enough. And simultaneously, I will prepare branch daters account. As you know, under what we call this system, we have to prepare branch account and branch daters account. Clear? So, first of all, you should write in the books of the head office. This should be your, what we call policy. Whenever you are going to solve the question, don't forget to write in the books of head office. Because entire accounting is being done by head office, in the books of head office. In the books of head office, you write the title branch account. After having written branch account, then you write also dater's account. Dater's account. Now we will go through the data. Data given to us is opening stock. Now we have just seen that opening balance of stock is written towards the debit side so I come towards the debit side to balance brought down and here I write stock it is given to you stock as 24,000 so 24,000 I am going to write here 24,000 correct then we have been given closing stock and you know better than I that closing balances are written towards the credit side closing balances and here I am going to write a stock. Now the closing balance of a stock given to us is 18,000. Then we have been given credit sales. We did lots of discussion in the last session that credit sales is the transaction related with branch and daters. So credit sales will always be written in the daters account because indirectly it gets reflected because of differences of opening daters, closing daters, and cash receipt from daters. Indirectly, it gets reflected in the branch, but we are not going to put it, what we call, in the branch account straightway. Credit sales is 41,000. Next item after credit sales is cash sales. Now, cash sales, see here, we know it is a part of remittances. Cash sales is put towards the credit side in the branch account. Cash sales is equal to 17,500. Correct? 17,500. Some of you might be tempting to raise a question. So why this transaction is put in the branch account? Because it is a transaction between what we call head office, between branch office and daters. Actually, it is not a transaction between branch and daters because it is a cash case of cash sales. So, daters means the customers, the persons to whom we sold the goods on credit and later on they are paying us. But it is a case of cash sales. So, first of all, it is not a transaction between what we call credit customer. It is simply a transaction between the what we call branch and the person to whom the goods have been sold on cash. Now, if I am selling goods to somebody and he is paying me cash, I need not require to what we will keep his account. That is why cash sales will not come in the daters quite obviously because it is a cash sales and not credit sales. But this amount will find place in the branch account because this amount ultimately will have to be sent back to the head office. Correct? Then, we have been given receipts from daters. Receipts from daters means cash receipt from daters. So, I will write it first of all here. Receipts from daters. 
receipts from debtors in this case given to you as 37,900 37,900 and we know that when we will receive cash from debtors debtors will get reduced so cash from debtors or receipts from debtors will also find place in the debtors account 37,900 is the amount so total of remittances now you total it up and where is the calculator here is the calculator so 17500 plus 37900 that is 55400 i will write it over here 55400 simple should not pose any problem to you then closing balance of debtors in this question is given debtors on 31st of march 2022 so closing balance of debtors, I will write here, debtors. Closing balance of debtors is 9,160, 9,160. This is the closing balance. This is 37,900. Ink got a little bit blotted. Don't worry, 37,900. Because this is closing balance of debtors and closing balance of debtors is also written over here. So I will write here 9,160 correct now goods sent from head office is 30,000 and we know that when head office will send the goods to the branch it is written towards the debit side of branch account goods sent to branch now onwards I will write I will use the short form GSTB goods sent to branch account goods sent to branch because it's a pretty long word goods sent to branch account GSTB so 30,000 worth of goods we did send, but out of these goods, 3,600 worth of goods are still in the journey. That means till the end of the accounting year, these goods haven't been received by the branch. So we want to show what worth of goods have been received by branch. So in order to reflect that figure, I will have to reflect goods in transit towards the credit side goods in transit. Why it will appear towards the credit side? Now you should be in a position to answer that correct in order to show how much worth of goods have been received by the branch goods in transit is 3600 so we have written goods in transit 3600 over here mm -hmm. correct then expenses paid by head office even though it is written expenses paid by head office actually it means head office must have sent the cash to the branch and branch must have paid those expenses so that is why it is written here to cash and I will write branch expenses. We know that in order to meet the branch expenses, head office sends the cash, 10,400. Correct? Now, whenever you will tally branch account, make sure, please pay attention towards this important point. Whenever you are going to tally branch account, make sure that you have all the figures related to debtors in the branch account. Related to all the figures in the branch account means opening balance of debtors, closing balance of debtors and cash received from debtors because these three figures related to debtors find place in the branch account. So before we tally this account, we have to make sure that do we have, in, do we have all these three figures related to debtors in the branch account? For example, I have got closing debtors. I have got receipt from debtors, but I do not have opening debtors. That mean figure of opening debtors is missing. So now, first what I will do, I will now tally this account. Correct? When I will tally this account, 37,900 plus 9,160 minus 41,000. So when I will tally this account, I will get the balancing figure. Balancing figure is 6060. This will be my opening balance. So whatever missing figure is there, that missing figure you can draw out by balancing the debtors account. So opening balance of debtors 6060 as per my calculation. So you have found out the opening balance of the debtors. Is it clear to you or not? Once you have found out the opening balance of the debtors, now you are in a position to write opening debtors here. 
opening dates 6060 correct opening dates from dates account i have written just for your reference from dates account this figure we drew out 6060 so now because i am sure and certain that all the figures which have got relations with the dates have been incorporated over here now i can proceed to tally this account if i will tally this account i will get the net profit net profit and net profit will be because i have done the question so many times figures are virtually memorized so you can even check it later on 30760 will be your profit is it clear to you or not this is just the starting after having done this question we pick up question number 2 question number 1.2 1.2 correct now we'll pick up question number 1.2 again i will need we are analyzing data system so i will prepare the branch account correct i think this much is enough and of course data account this is my data account and besides that this is my branch account correct branch account you pick up the second question second question it is in this sheet actually big brothers are having their head office at delhi big brothers are having their head office at delhi and branch at kolkata the following are the transactions of the head office with the branch for the year ended 31st of 3 31st of december 2020 sorry so opening stock on 1st of january 2020 is this much opening balance of debtors is this much and this is the item regarding which i need to discuss petty cash what exactly petty cash is i will let you know in a short while petty cash is 500 goods supplied to branch you know the treatment remittances from branch this time very clearly given to you cash sales and realization of debts or realization from customers or cash received from debtors are one and same things so this is nothing but cash received from debtors total realization is given amount sent to branch head office has sent for salary this much of cash for rent this much of cash and for petty cash further petty cash is given because already opening balance of petty cash is with the branch and then petty expenses of the branch manager is 2750 petty expenses of the branch manager is 2750 i will let you know the treatment of these items don't worry about that stock at branch is 23150 sunday debtors at the branch as at 31st of 12 is this much so almost everything is given besides what we call petty cash i need not require to tell you anything else let me pick up a rough sheet to make you understand the rough sheets okay i will use the back sides petty cash you have heard this this word petty cash so many times correct my head office is in delhi head office is in delhi and my branch is in kolkata correct branch is in kolkata i have already told you whatever major expenses of the branch are there correct for example rent salary wages even if there is any expense related to insurance premium advertising for this for such type of expenses generally head office will send the cash to the branch no doubt about that correct but now just presume for a while my head office which is in kolkata pretty far away from delhi correct a client comes over there and he is a very high profile client and branch manager of course because that client is quite high profile we need to entertain him at least with tea coffee some snacks that we will have to spend something 
So do you think the branch manager will give a ring to the head office? Sir, a client has come and we want to entertain him with tea, snacks and something. Please send rupees 100 or 500 to us. Do you think branch manager will adopt this policy? No. We know petty. Petty means of a smaller nature. So petty expenses, smaller expenses. Obviously because we have a branch, branch will need what we call sometimes cash to meet some small expenses for example to uh, expenses which are needed for the entertainment of the clients the stamp duties etc so for such expenses every time we cannot what we call fall upon head office and ask them to please remit the cash then we will do this expenditure it is impossible so what is the general policy adopted by what we call head office head office always leaves some cash in the hands of the branch head office will leave some cash in the hands of the branch manager correct so that expenses of such a smaller nature could be met out of debt for example in this case we have been given opening balance of petty cash opening balance of petty cash it is given to us in this case now opening balance of petty cash as per the question where the question has gone. Opening balance of petty cash in this case is 500. That means this is the opening balance which we have already left in the hands of the what we call branch manager that whatever smaller nature expenses are there you please meet it out of that. Further it is also given amount sent to branch. Head office has further sent some petty cash 3000. When I will prepare the branch account, I will write opening balance of petty cash. Besides whatever cash I have sent, correct, to meet petty expenses, whatever further cash, cash, that means petty cash. I have sent, I means head office. Head office has sent 3000 worth of further cash to meet the petty expenses. It is written clearly, correct, amount sent to branch petty cash, that means Head office has sent further petty cash to branch. Now you are the branch manager, assume for a while. So how much cash you are having to meet petty expenses? 3,500. So when I will write the closing balance here, when I will write the closing balance, how will I write? I will write petty cash and I will write opening balance 500. Whatever cash sent to us for Petty expenses. Head office has sent further cash of 3000. That means total petty cash available in my hand, branch manager's hand is 3500. And here it is given petty expenses of branch manager. Please understand this line very carefully. Petty expenses of branch manager means amount is spent by branch manager out of petty cash. Amount spent by branch manager out of petty cash amount spent by branch manager out of petty cash that mean out of 3500 you have spent 2750 this was the figure right 2750 this is branch managers expenses it is important to understand that there is a difference between branch expenses and branch manager's expenses. For the branch expenses, head office will always send the cash. For example, in this question for salary and rent, we are sending the cash. We will write it on the debit side of the branch. Correct? Branch expenses is not going to give us any problem. Regarding petty expenses, you have to be careful. Opening balance you have written. Whatever further petty cash is sent, you have also written it towards the debit side. This shows that branch manager is having total petty cash of 3500. And out of that, whatever he has spent, you, have, you will subtract it. And the closing balance, then you will write it here 750. Indirectly, it means when I'm writing 500 here, when I'm writing 3000 here, and on the opposite side, when I am writing 750, the difference of 3500 minus 750 is nothing but branch manager's expenses. That means branch manager's expenses are reflected indirectly. Now you may ask me, sir, why we are writing opening balance 3 and then whatever petty cash is sent and closing balance? Why we are writing these three items? 
in order to reflect 2750. Why can't we simply write 2750 branch manager's expenses? You are right, absolutely. We could do that. But problem is that I told you it's an incomplete accounting system. Under this head office is maintaining only branch account. It is not maintaining any other asset account. For example, if we were maintaining what we call petty cash account, then I would have I could have had posted the directly expenses figure here. Are you getting my point or not? That is the reason in order to bring 2750 to this account, petty expenses. Petty expenses means a amount is spent by branch manager out of petty cash. That is known as petty expenses. Petty expenses are not reflected straight away, but indirectly. So total petty cash in the hands of the branch is reflected this way by writing opening balance and whatever further petty cash we have sent and closing balance we will write here. So the difference of this is nothing but uh, 2750 branch manager's expenses. But branch manager's expenses or petty expenses cannot be written straight away because we are not preparing separately petty cash account. Suppose if, write, if I write here petty expenses straight away, 2750. So how the posting is done? From where this account is appearing here? This is the question. So that is the reason in order to bring what we call 2750 to this account, we have to adopt this policy. We will write opening balance of petty cash. Whatever cash we are sending, we will put it towards the debit side and closing balance towards the credit side. So this is the point regarding petty cash, which I wanted to clarify. So this was the point in this question. And now we can solve this question. So you write opening balance. I'll put this sheet here towards my left hand side. Every time I cannot reflect. So opening data is... We write here opening balance first of all, opening balance brought down, correct? Here we have got its balance of stock. I will write stock here 30,800, isn't it? 30,800. Then we have opening balance of daters. Of course, again, daters will be written over here first of all, 16,500. Besides that, opening balance of daters will also be written towards the debit side of the daters account and I will write here balance brought down 16,500. Next item is petty cash. Petty cash is a real account, remember one thing. So opening balance of petty cash we will, will be written here. Petty cash. Cash meant, to, meant for meeting expenses of routine nature of a smaller nature. Petty cash, that is 500. We are not going to prepare petty cash account. Remember one thing under this particular account. Then goods supply to branch. So head office has sent goods to branch to, to the tune of 1,51,200. I will use the short form goods sent to branch account. Goods sent to branch account. Sir, is it a legal short form? Can we use it in the examination? You can. Correct? You can use it, no problem, but use it neatly. 1,51,200. Then remittances from branch. Remittances from branch. You will write it towards the credit side, remittances. You will move over to the credit side of the branch account. You will write here one cash sales. Amount of cash sales is 10,500. You can straightway put it towards the outer column side. Then we have realization from debts. So realization of debts is nothing but cash receipt from debtors. Realization from debts. 157. 157.740. And realization from debts will also come in the debtors account. Is it clear to you? In the debtors account. We will write here buy cash. That is realization from debts. So from debtors, you are receiving this much of amount 157740. Is it clear to you? Then the next item given to you is amount is spent to branch. So head office has sent to cash. Head office has sent cash to meet salary expenses 7,440 
to meet rent expenses three thousand two thousand four hundred correct and we have sent further petty cash that is three thousand you have to take care of this item we have sent further three thousand for petty cash then very next item is petty expenses of the branch manager so when i will move towards the credit side i will write here balance carried down under the balance carried down i will write here closing balance of petty cash and i will write here opening balance opening balance that meant petty cash available in the hands of the branch manager in the beginning was 500 and we sent 3000 more plus sent 3000 so total petty cash available with the branch is 3500 out of 3500 now you subtract branch manager's expenses branch manager's expenses i told you is nothing but petty expenses petty expenses it means amount is spent by branch manager out of petty cash available with him and he is spent and he has spent how much he has spent 2750 so closing balance will be 750 so point here is that if we will look closely we'll find actually we have written 2750 only in this account because the difference of 500 plus 3000 3500 minus 750 is nothing but 2750 that been petty expenses have been put in an indirect manner correct because we are not preparing any real account correct in this particular system that is the reason we have to adopt this methodology then after petty cash and petty expenses we have a stock closing stock given to you is 23150 so you will write here 23150 and then we have sundry daters sundry daters closing balance closing balance of daters is 50460 50,460 50,460 and because we are preparing data's account closing balance will also come here closing balance 50,460 after finishing off all the information which is given in the question now the next point is we have to tally this account just a moment ago I told you that whenever we are going to tally this particular account First of all, we need to be very sure of this particular fact that all the information related to daters, that is opening daters, closing daters, and cash from daters is available. Let's check. Opening daters is given, closing daters is given, cash receipt from daters is given. So I can tell you this account. Correct? Because all the information related to daters is given. So now I am in a position to tell it. So I will compute the net profit. So, when you will compute the net profit, it will be equal to how much? Net profit, uh, 10,500 plus 157740 plus 750 plus 23150 plus 50,460 minus 30,800 minus 16500 minus 500 and then minus 151200 minus 7440 minus 2400 and minus 3000 is it clear to you this is how you are going to get this 30760 so 30760 is your net profit is it clear how you are going to compute so this is you are this is the way you are going to compute the profit then after completing the profit problem is that since you are maintaining data's account it is better to close it also and if i am going to ask you what will be your what we call balancing figure balancing figure will be obviously in this case credit sales 
although credit sales will not be posted to any other account that is branch account only other account is branch account because in the branch account credit sale is already getting reflected because of the difference of opening closing daters isn't it or not so this is the question so credit sales balancing figure will be 191700 this is how you have to do this particular question is it clear to you so in this particular question you learn what we call uh, the treatment of petty cash so next question 1.3 now we'll pick up 1.3 is given in this question itself and uh, given here is from the following particulars prepare a branch account showing the profit or loss from the branch correct opening stock at branch is 15000 goods sent to branch is 45000 sales 60000 is given now you might get confused suppose if i ask you whether it is a cash sales or credit sales how will you give me the answer logically in accounts if nothing is written in in front of sales logically in accounts if nothing is written in front of sales that always presume it to be credit sales what i am saying let me pick up the rough sheet suppose if i have written sales and since neither as prefix or suffix nothing is written here credit or cash so i shall always presume it to be as credit sales this is the rule correct now in this question now you tell me this sales stands for cash or credit nothing is written nothing is written and i just told you if nothing is written what we should consider sir credit sales right logically i should consider it as credit sales but in this question there is neither opening daters nor closing daters if there is neither opening daters nor closing daters this automatically means this particular concern is not dealing in credit transaction that is the reason you will have to consider it as cash sales you got my point or not logically it should be credit sales but since actually in the question opening and closing daters are not given it leads us to the conclusion that this particular concern is dealing only in cash transactions so that is the reason you will have to consider it as cash sales correct so this is cash sales expenses you have been given salary 5000 other expenses 2000 total expenses 7000 of course for these expenses head office will send the cash closing stock of branch is 10000 question is simple with little bit trickiness at the end the branch manager is entitled to a commission of 5% on the net profit of the branch after charging his commission this is the problem correct question states that branch manager is entitled to a commission of 5% on the profit of the branch after charging his commission correct and what else is given now this is so nothing else is given in this question and question is simply stating from the following prepare a branch account whenever question will state prepare branch account always follow data system if question simply states prepare data's account what did i say always follow data system is it clear to you or not yes sir so question number 1.3 now i am picking up question number 1.3 this is an interesting question but obviously i will have to prepare a branch account this is my branch account because in this question there is no opening data, no closing data. Do I need to prepare data account? No, sir. Thank you. So in the books of head office, I will write branch account. This is my branch account, correct? And it is given to us opening stock at branch. So I will write here opening stock, opening balance, stock opening balance of stock given to me is 15000 besides that we have been given goods sent to branch account two goods sent to branch account two goods sent to branch account is given to you as 60000 you will write it over here 
then we have been given expenses you will write here to cash it means head office must have sent cash to meet these expenses salary and other expenses 7000 and <coughs> sorry it's pretty cold out here so then i will write here cash the remittances sorry remittances under the remittances we know that we write actually cash sales and cash from debtors now you have to be careful i told you earlier in this question amount of sales stands for cash sales why you should understand that correct so here sales means cash sales that is the reason why i explained that earlier and cash from debtors in this question will be nil so why cash from debtors will be nil in this particular question reason is very simple in this question cash received from debtors will be nil because there are no cash no credit transaction so that means 60,000 so obviously in this question there are no credit transactions so no question of opening and closing data is correct because in this question there is no question of opening and closing data i can now tell tell you this and let me check whether there is any closing stock and closing stock is given in this question closing balance carry down closing stock given to you is ten thousand Closing stock is given to you as 10,000. Now see what I am doing. 60 plus 10 is equal to 70,000. No doubt about that. I will write the total, which I generally don't write. 70,000. Now from 70,000, pay attention. I am subtracting these figures. Correct? Let me subtract these figures. Where is the calculator? So 70,000 minus 15 minus 60 and 767. Opening stock figure is how much? 15,000. Good sent to branch. Actually, I have written 60. It is 45,000. This is the problem. That is why I thought why my answer is not matching. Extremely sorry. This is 45,000, not 60,000. So I will rub it off. So it is 45,000. I will write 45,000 because it will take a little bit of time to uh, what we call get a little bit uh, dry. So I will subtract now from 70,000, 15,000, 45,000, and 7,000. So I am having at this moment 3,000. This 3000 is my profit without any doubt. This 3000 is my profit. No question about that. But this is my net profit. But this net profit is before manager's commission. Before manager's commission. And in this question, it is given that branch manager is entitled to 5% commission. It is given in this question that branch manager is entitled to a commission of 5% after charging his commission. What does it mean? My net profit is 3000. Question is telling that we have to give 5% commission to the branch manager but what question is telling question is telling that branch manager is entitled to a commission of 5% after charging his commission that mean out of this net profit first i need to deduct the commission and then whatever net profit is left after this commission of that 5% i need to give as commission to the branch manager now this look 
pretty weak because we have to give the commission to the branch manager and after charging his commission. But problem is that we do not know his commission. So how can we find out net profit after charging his commission? Because of this profit, we are supposed to give him 5% commission. So this is the whole drama in this question. So what you will do now, suppose branch manager's commission is X. Suppose branch managers, branch managers commission is X. is equal to x now we presume branch managers commission is equal to x and this is net profit before commission so net profit after commission will be equal to net profit after commission will be equal to how much it will be equal to 3000 minus x now it becomes net profit after commission of this net profit 5% commission is to be given to the branch manager so now we are in a so we can say now branch managers commission branch managers commission will be equal to 5% of 3000 minus x now we can say so Branch manager's commission will be equal to this, correct? That is 5 into 3000, 15,000 divided by 100 minus 5 into x, 5x divided by 100, which is equal to 100, 100 cancel, that is 150 minus 5x because 120 I have cancelled 5x by 100 this is branch managers commission so we have reached the conclusion now we know that branch managers commission is equal to this one and we have presumed branch manager's commission as x. So now our equation will be, so equation, x, this is branch manager's commission, and which is equal to 150 minus 5x by 100. So now we have to solve this. So if we will solve it, do you know how to solve it? Your LCM will be, you presume, below you have written one. You presume it this way. So your LCM will be 100. Correct? 1, you, will, you are going to divide 100 by 1. It will be equal to 100. Then you multiply it with 150. 100 into 150 will be equal to this much 15,000 now you divide 100 this figure by 100 that is 1 1 into 5x will be equal to this much correct now we will take 100 towards this side it will become 100x and we will be left up with 15,000 minus 5x correct now you shift the brother of x out of these two items, which is the brother, 15,000 or 5x, 5x. So, you take the brother from your right hand side to the left. And because it is a negative sign, you add it. So, it will be equal to 100x plus 5x, which is equal to 15,000. So, 100 5x is equal to 15,000 or x is equal to 15,000 divided by 105. Where is the calculator? Calculator gives lots of problems. I do not know where does it goes. Here it is. 
15,000 divided by 105 that gives 142 point. So approximately it is 143. Approximately. So 143 is the commission. Why we did all this? Because in this question it is given branch manager is to be given a commission after charging his commission. Honestly speaking, we need not require to do such a long exercise. I could have gone through a very simple formula. I could have computed 143 this way. Net profit is 3000. But it is not given that branch manager is to be given a commission of 5% of the net profit. If it would have been given, I would have simply computed 5% of 3150. But in this question, it is given branch manager is to be given a commission of 5% after charging his commission. So after charging his commission, you can simply do this way 5 divided by 105. Suppose if it would have been 10% commission after charging his commission, it would have been 10 by 110. If you will compute this, it will be equal to 143. Oh, sir. So easy. Yes, it is. Again, it is 143. Sir, if it is so easy, why did you tell us such a long process? The reason is very simple. Because I want you to understand the what we call intricacy of this particular problem. Correct? So, in the examination, you can use this step. This is for the understanding. So, 143 will be branch manager's commission. So, now from 3000, you are subtracting branch manager's commission. Branch manager's commission. 143. And whatever now you are left up with, it will be your net profit after commission. Or simply net profit. This is your net profit after commission. And it is equal to 2857. Interesting. So we will continue with many more interesting facets of this particular chapter in the upcoming session.